In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert between frame rates in Final Cut Pro 10. For this example, we will be using footage from the Canon 5D Mark II. It's 29.97 frames per second progressive footage, and we will be converting it to 23.976 frames per second progressive footage. Keep in mind that you can use this technique to convert frame rates, including interlaced and progressive input and output settings. You should be familiar with the basics in Final Cut Pro 10 before watching this tutorial. You can learn the basics by watching the overview tutorial first. We'll start a new project and instead of selecting set based on first video clip, which will give you the timeline attributes of the first clip, we will choose custom. When we choose custom, you can see we have full control to input the format, resolution, and the frame rate. This is where we indicate which frame rate we want to convert our footage to. I'll change the frame rate to 23.976. Final Cut Pro 10 rounds it out to 23.98 for display purposes, but internally it's still 23.976. Now, we'll just drop our source clip into this timeline with the desired resulting interlacing and frame rate settings. If we're just changing the frame rate without changing the timing, we continue by adding Twixter to our clip. Now we can go to the inspector. By default, Twixter assumes that your clip frame rate is the same as your project frame rate. So if it isn't, then uncheck the box and type in your new input frame rate. Twixter will get the output frame rate, or new frame rate, from the project settings because you set that up in the beginning when you made the new project. Note, even though you typed in 29.97, Final Cut Pro 10 rounds it out to 30 for the display. Internally, it knows that it's 29.97. If you double click on it, you can see that it is, in fact, 29.97. Then you just change the fields menu to interlaced if your footage is interlaced or progressive. In this case, our footage is progressive. That's it. If you want to trim it or edit it, you need to make it a compound clip. If you also want to slow it down when you frame rate convert, you can also set the speed or frame number settings as shown in the Final Cut Pro 10 overview tutorial.